In an increasingly technology-driven world, electronic and optical devices are getting smaller and more compact. A new and promising method for fine structure surface processing is laser-induced periodic surface structure, LIPS. In LIPS, femtosecond lasers are used to deliver ultra-short laser pulses which spontaneously form a periodic pattern much smaller than the laser wavelength. To consistently produce LIPS with controllable properties and characteristics for a certain application, it is critical to understand how the choice of laser source affects the crystallinity of the substrate and the formation of defects and strain. Now, a Japanese research collaboration led by scientists from Nagoya Institute of Technology have directly investigated these parameters. The research team selected silicon as a representative substrate and used two different femtosecond laser systems on it. First, they used a conventional titanium sapphire laser system with pulses at 0.8 microns to structure the silicon at higher than band gap energy. Second, they used a new laser source, a free electron laser at mid-infrared pulses of 11.4 microns demonstrated the case where the energies were lower than the sample band gap energy. The band gap energy holds significance as the main light absorption occurs at the band edge in general laser processing. The analysis of microscopic crystallinity and purity was performed by transmission electron microscopy, TEM while a more macroscopic analysis of the strain and stability of the wider structure was investigated by synchrotron high-energy X-ray diffraction, XRD. For the titanium sapphire laser, the LIPS retained high crystallinity but incurred residual strain. In contrast, the LIPS induced by the mid-infrared free electron laser generated some visible defects but no strain on the system. The findings highlight that the choice of the laser, especially laser wavelength, can control the periodicity, strain, and defects of the lips to fabricate surfaces for specific applications.